Algebra 1, number 4.6c, we're talking about reasoning strategies. We're going to use logical reasoning in this video. To use logical reasoning, specific information is given and if-then logic is used to make conclusions. We gather enough information to be able to solve the problem. Using the facts and any relationships they have help us draw conclusions. And we can solve problems by recording given information on a chart and making conclusions based on it. Now take a look at these. Let me hold them up for you. These are logic puzzles and there's two different kinds. There's one kind that has a grid, that's the white one, and this pink one has a table. It's like a chart and it gives you specific information. This one's called Mom's Taxi. And you read these clues, see, one through six, and you take that information and logically decide which name and age and coach and, you know, last name goes into the table. And in this one, you take these clues, 1 through 11, and you either put an X or an O into this chart to help you figure out what the answers are. And then you can figure out, look, the days of work, first names, last, or nicknames, and the fruit, apparently, that they grow. Okay? So, you can go on to puzzles.com and get these table and chart puzzles. This is a, like a grid. And you can download them, and they have a lot of them. Easy ones, hard ones. So we're going to do a couple of them, and I'm going to show you how we do the use of, of we, how we use logical reasoning. Okay? So our given is four friends ate ice cream. Emma didn't have vanilla or cherry. Tala had strawberry, Bob didn't have vanilla, and Dave didn't have cherry or chocolate. Now, we can look at these clues and see what each flavor they were eating. We don't know who ate what yet, but we know there's vanilla, cherry, strawberry, and chocolate, just from the clues, don't we? Now, we can use this table to help us solve this by putting an, a big O for a yes. We could even fill it in as a black dot and putting an X for a no. So here's the flavors of ice cream, and here's the friends. So the first clue says, Emma didn't have vanilla or cherry. So what we do is we look at Emma, and we put an X for vanilla and cherry, because she didn't have those, so we're crossing them off the table. See? Our next clue is that Tala had strawberry. Well, they're giving that to us, aren't they? So we know Tala had strawberry. So we go to Tala, and we go over to strawberry, and we put a nice big fat O. Now, if Tala had strawberry, then Emma didn't have strawberry. See? Because they each had a different flavor. And if Tala had strawberry, then it wasn't Bob who had it, and it wasn't Dave who had it. Right? And if she had the strawberry, then she didn't have the vanilla, the cherry, or the chocolate. She had the strawberry. Do you see what's happening? We already know what Emma had. Just by doing the information that was given in the first two clues, we know Emma had to have had chocolate because that's the only one that's left. See? All right. Bob didn't have vanilla is the third given clue. So Bob is not vanilla. So we're going to put an X for vanilla for Bob. Our fourth clue is Dave didn't have cherry or chocolate. So here's Dave. He didn't have cherry or chocolate. Now, the only flavor left for Dave is vanilla. So we know Dave had vanilla. And look, if Emma had chocolate, then Bob didn't have chocolate. See? So the only thing left that could be Bob is cherry. So we know all the flavors everyone had. See that? That's a logic puzzle, and we used logical reasoning to figure this out. If Emma had chocolate, then Bob didn't. See? It's an if-then. So, as we said in the last couple of videos, inductive reasoning goes from a particular bit of information to a general conclusion, and deductive reasoning goes from, a general, from general information to a particular conclusion. It's like they're flipped. It's like they're the flipped version of each other. See? It goes from particular to general, goes from general to particular. See? Let's try another one. Five runners in a race all finished within seconds of each other. 
So here's our given information, 1 through 4, and here's our table, okay? So the first bit of given information says runner 1 finished just ahead of runner 4. So if runner number 1 finished in front of runner number 4, can runner 1 be the last place winner? No, because he finished in front of somebody, didn't he? So runner number 1 was not last place, see? And it says runner number four was not last. So we know runner number four is not last. See, so we can put an X there. Now, just from the first clue, we know that number one can't be last and number four can't be first. Number four can't be first if somebody was in front of him, right? It says runner number one finished ahead of him. So runner number four cannot be first place. Somebody finished ahead of him. So we know for first place, runner number four can't fit. See? Can't work. Let's look at the next one. The next given clue is that runner two finished second. Well, they just gave that one to us, didn't they? That is a given. So runner number two finished second. If runner number two finished second, then runner one didn't finish second. Runner three didn't finish second. Or four or five, they didn't finish second. Runner 2 did. And if runner 2 finished second, he didn't finish first, third, fourth, or fifth. See? Our next clue is that runner number 5 finished last. So runner number 5 did finish last, so we're going to put a big circle here for him. And if he finished last, then runner 3 did not. We know 5 did. See? So we can put an X there. And if runner 5 finished last, then he didn't finish first, third, or fourth. So we can fill those in, can't we? Our last clue is runner one finished after runner three. Ooh, wait a minute. It said one was ahead of four. Now it's saying he's after runner three. So there was a runner number three was ahead of number one. So it went number three, number one, number four in order. So... Could runner number three be in fourth place? Can runner number three have two people behind him and be in fourth place? No, there's not room for two people to be behind him. So we know runner number three is not in fourth place. So see how we're using this to make logical reasoning? So... We know 2 is second, so no one else is. We know 5 is last, so no one else is. And because runner number 1 finished after runner number 3, we know 3 is before the 1, and the 1 is after the 3. See? So can runner 1 be in first place? Nope. Because it says he finished after runner 3. See? So the only thing left for first place has got to be runner number 3. And if he's in first place, he's not in third place, right? So now we've only got two left to figure out, all right? All we know is that we've got third and fourth place and runner one and runner four left. But look at runner one came in before runner four. So if our choices are between third and fourth place for runner one and runner four, we know that runner one came before runner four, so runner one has to be this one, and runner four has to be this one. See? And then that means he's not that one, and he's not that one. And then through the use of logical reasoning, we figured out the place that all the runners came in. See? We know every order that they came in, and we did it by using logic. Okay? So we can use the process of elimination. We can use logical reasoning, a table or a chart, a list to solve problems for logic. And for any problem, we could do the try, test, revise. That's the guess and check and guess again version that you learned in grade school. We could write equations or make diagrams. We could work backwards. Or we could try simplifying the problem and breaking it down into an easier version and solving that first and then try solving the harder version. So look for links in this video's description for similar helpful videos. The previous two videos that talk about inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning, I'll have a link for those, okay? And try checking out puzzles.com for logic puzzles. They're actually kind of fun and they help teach you logical thinking, all right? 
I'll see you next video. Bye.